Today I'm going to show you how to check your air quality forecast, tell you why that's important, and share with you some of my favorite apps for your mobile device so you can make sure the air is healthy enough for your favorite outdoor activities wherever you go. So I have an Apple phone. It comes with a pretty standard weather app. Um, none of the apps I'll show you today require any sort of account and you can choose not to allow notifications or location services if that's not your thing. So here is the weather forecast from Apple. You get the current conditions and daily and weekly forecast. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, the last piece of info they give you is the air quality index in a number and a word. So today the air quality index right now is 77 and the air quality is moderate. So under that air quality index number in the bottom left corner is a light blue weather channel logo. If you click that, it's gonna open a browser with some more in-depth weather channel data. Uh, from there, we'll scroll down to air quality, close that. Um, and we'll click on air quality index and see details. So the reason you're going to want to pay attention to the air quality along with your weather is because these are all the different harmful pollutants that you could possibly be breathing. So we can't see any of these, but we you know, could use a little help with an app like this to tell us whether or not they're there and the air is safe. So even though we're not in, say, an area with heavy wildfire smoke, for example, thank goodness, we do still have a considerable amount of air pollution, especially, as you can see today, ozone pollution, which results mainly from driving our cars as well as electricity generation. So this is going to show you the amount of emissions and superfine particles in the air, measured in micrograms per cubic meter. Um, so these pollutants are nitrogen dioxide, ozone, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter of two different sizes. Uh, PM10 is about the size of a piece of dust. Our bodies are pretty good at filtering that out. PM2.5 is smaller and it's more dangerous. It penetrates deeper into the body. So uh, again, this is going to show you these amount of emissions and superfine particles. Every day you're breathing these. They're chemicals very fine pieces of um, liquid and solids. They're gonna um, go into your body and cause an inflammatory response in the lungs. They enter the bloodstream and they build up over time in the heart and the brain with repeated exposure. This affects a huge swath of people. And so any weather app you're using, uh, for example, Weather Underground, should definitely be relaying the air quality index. This is Weather Underground's app. Um, they include some, here you go, click on this, some quick um, activity guidance info. They also have the amount of pollution. Um, another app I know people use is Weatherbug. Um, so if you scroll down here and click on air quality, um, they are going to give you the current conditions as well as this kind of very fun virtual reality option to help you see what's in your air. So you can go outside and um, give them access to your camera and kind of look around to visualize the different particles. Um, they also include an interactive map here. Um, and under the map, Weatherbug also has these little icons with some helpful activity guidance for whether it's a good time to open your house windows or exercise or let your kids play outdoors. These last three icons here are important because they highlight the health effects for particular populations. This little heart icon is going to be a heads up for anyone with breathing or cardiac issues. I mentioned earlier that we can't see air pollution, but if you have asthma, I'm sure you know firsthand what the air quality is just by how difficult it feels to breathe. So um, I'm sure you are well aware that you use your inhaler more on these days and anyone at, with heart or lung or asthma issues is at a much higher risk of hospitalization on these days. So we're going to want to modify our outdoor time accordingly. Um, also, children breathe way more air per pound of body weight than adults. So it's really important to keep kids out of dirty air, which affects their lung and brain development and makes their asthma attacks a lot worse. Older adults also should use caution on poor air quality days, as should people who work or exercise outdoors. If you have an outdoor job and it's strenuous, if you're outdoors exercising, you're breathing heavier, you are more exposed to bad air. So um, 
right now in particular, bright sunlight, heat, and traffic um, is that kind of, that's that mix that creates ozone pollution. So if you can, um, particularly at this time of year, you're going to want to, for example, take your dog for a walk or try biking or jogging on roads with less traffic, less car exhaust, and at much cooler times of the day. So where are these weather apps getting this data from? They're getting it from the EPA and your local DEP. So those agencies have a terrific free app. It's called Air Now. Um, if you just want to tap once and check the air quality, Air Now is a great app. It's going to offer um, clear readings, forecasts, activity guidance. So you just tap right here. You can search for your city, um, and it's going to give you this this big bright number of an air quality index and. Um, the forecast also for the next few days, which is really nice. So this is helpful if you're planning a hike or a long run or a picnic outdoors. Um, there's an explanation under here of why the forecast is what it is, um, as well as if we click in here, a breakdown um, of the different levels of our two most harmful local air pollutants, ozone and particulate matter. Um, so I really like the air quality um, app that AirNow has put out. Um, I think it's a great app to really easily visually understand things. It's also a good app to learn more about air quality. So if you tap the three lines up here in the top left uh, and then on air quality index, you can see the levels of color coded air quality index. You can read how that translates into good or bad air quality, as well as how to use the forecast info to protect yourself from ozone and particle pollution in the air you breathe. Um, again, I think this is just a really nice um, kind of clean, um, clear app to get that index number and visual color coded scale. The larger graphics would also probably be really helpful for older adults who again are at a higher risk of health effects from air pollution. Um, for a little bit of a deeper dive and with what I think is a really beautiful interface is Plume Labs air quality app. So we'll just open up that. Uh, since air pollution can vary significantly, even from street to street, Plume is going to try to give you really local, real-time air quality info. I really like this app, even though, again, if you want to, uh, if it can't find your zip code, you may have to poke around a little bit to find the location data nearest you. But once, uh, once you have. Um, it's really nice they have the date here up top um, so that's going to include historical data you can click to go back um, it's also going to have the forecast um, so um, it's really easy also to scroll through not only the daily but the hourly data um, which is really nice. So you can see how in the morning or the evening, um, those times are really safer for you to be active outdoors. Um, you'll also notice that the data here for time is in military time. I don't think you can change that, um, but it is worth noting that if we go back here um, on the bottom here, that little gear button is settings in the lower right. So you can change some things here. Um, under preferences, you'll see here in settings, uh, if you click recommendations, um, that's going to let you tell the app what you're most concerned about, um, whether, you know, it's your half Ironman training or your kids or outdoor dining. Um, so that's really nice. Um, also, um, you can set your units. So anytime you're using a company's app, um, particularly one that may sell its own air quality monitor, I would be really aware of any sort of proprietary air quality index that they may be using. So here you could see that the pollution units are um, AQI in the USA, but there's also a plume AQI um, and different countries have different AQIs. Um, I do believe when you download this app that it defaults to the plume AQI, um, which is fine. The activity guidance will be the same, but if you uh, want to be consistent with the EP you'll want to go ahead and change that. Um, so this app too, if we go back out to the home screen and click in here, is also going to have activity guidance, um, which is really nice. And for um, vulnerable populations, So it's going to let you know whether it's safe for certain people and activities by clicking on any of those. It's also going to let you look uh, at individual pollutant levels um, by clicking on any of those, which can be helpful if you know, for example, like here, um, if you know, for example, that you are particularly sensitive to ozone, um, which many people do know they are, this app would be great for that. 
This app would also be great for any sort of classroom use if you're looking for some really nicely visualized data. Um, and overall, I would definitely recommend this app. Again, that is by Plume Labs. Um, so last up is Air Visual right here. So again, like all these apps, you have the option of letting the app locate you. Um, but again, um, you can just type in your city or zip. Sometimes that does require a little finagling. Um, so by now, I'm sure you recognize a lot of this interface and these numbers. Um, the Air Visual app is going to give you that air quality index information and color, as well as some weather info and a forecast every few hours. Um, Air Visual has a seven day forecast, um, which is helpful for longer term planning. And even f uh, farther down the page at the very bottom here has a little globe icon where you can see the different air quality readings around you. Um, again, this app has a corresponding air quality monitor for purchase. You do not need to buy that to use the app, um, but it is really kind of cool, um, like the Plume app, that this kind of shared citizen and community-driven science is really, I think, super exciting um, and is really great to see the direction of air quality science and research really incorporating um, hyper-local citizen data. So you can also click on this uh, real-world map so that will show you um, different air currents and different hot spots, which is really neat. Um, or you can click on the list here to see different cities around the world. Um, this app also has the option for enabling different notifications for different groups or sensitivity levels. Um, and I think that this app could be... Um, really fun and easily used in the classroom for any kind of student education or really anyone interested in breathing clean air. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe our YouTube channel for the latest videos and information on healthy transportation tips in northern New Jersey.